sounded like in Baghdad. There are no survivors. Against the Al-Qaeda terrorist training team. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. In 1969, Neil Armstrong delivered his famous words from the moon. By this time, China had already been working on its first manned spacecraft research for two years. Chen Sui-sen, the father of China's rocketry program, dared to dream big. At 9.30 that night, the fifth country in the world, following the Soviet Union, Before China's first spacecraft was born, it had a significant name, Xu Huang, First Light of Dawn. The Chinese plan was to put two astronauts in space within two years. In 1971, the first 19 candidates were chosen. Like the Soviets and Americans, they were all fighter pilots. Due to a social turbulent era, China could not afford to undertake such a massive project. China's first manned space project was halted after eight years. The United States had already completed six crewed missions to the moon and by this time in 1975 launched two Mars landers, Viking 1 and 2. But there was a silver lining. Chairman Mao Zedong and US President Gerald Ford held a historic meeting in Beijing. Six days before their meeting, China launched its first recoverable satellite, Jianbing-1, laying the foundation for its future success in space. The turning point was in September 21st, 1992, after a 17-year break. China decided to restart its manned space program and set a clear and ambitious path. Named after the date, Project 921 was born. It had a three-step blueprint. First, put an astronaut in space and ensure his or her safe return. Second, carry out extravehicular activities or EVA and launch a space lab. Third, build a crewed space station. China began building its new crewed spacecraft. It was based on Chanbing satellite technology, but with a new name, Shenzhou. Four Shenzhou craft cleared all technical obstacles soon after. But now, the big question. Who's going to be China's first man in space? In 1998, 14 candidates were selected from among China's best pilots. They were thrown into the harshest training environment, also with help from Russia. Only one was chosen. China aimed to launch its first manned mission in 2003, but it turned out to be one of the most disastrous years in the history of space flight. The Columbia is lost. There are no survivors. There were two tragedies in the United States and Brazil. 28 people in total died. The pressure was on China, but it kept the launch date unchanged. At 9 a.m. October 15, as the steel tower released the launch vehicle, the nation held its breath. <laughs> History was made. Yang Liwei became a legend, the first Chinese person in space. China joined ranks of the Soviet Union and the United States. 
Two years later, Shenzhou 6 carried another two astronauts into space. China had accomplished the first step of the 9 to 1 project. The next step was EVA and a space lab. A month after the end of the Beijing Olympics, two astronauts did the first spacewalk in 2008. But things didn't go their way.这个时候的出场我们新疆展开而且我眼睛看到的仪表上当时内心的斗争真是异常的复杂。Thankfully, it was a false alarm. The vacuum had affected the instrument board. In 2011, the U.S. Congress passed the Wolf Amendment. NASA was banned from space collaboration with China or any China-owned company. But this did not stop China's quest for space exploration. Not long after, China sent its first target spacecraft into orbit and carried on automatic and manual docking. And finally, female astronauts joined the team. Tiangong-1 was an entry-level space lab. Its main tasks were docking and orbital experiments. Tiangong-2 was a more advanced version. It tested technologies needed for the construction of space station. Astronauts started to spend more time in space. In 2016, the Shenzhou 11 circled the Earth for over a month with astronauts on board. <laughs> In 2017, China's manned space program completed its second step. The first cargo spacecraft, Tianzhou-1, docked with Tiangong-2 three times. It tested a series of new technologies, including transportation of living supplies and in-orbit refueling. Then began the third step, building the space station. It's called Tiangong or Heavenly Palace. It consists of a core module and two experimental modules and can dock with manned spacecraft and cargo ships. The core module was finally ready for launch. It blasted off in April 2021. Two months later, three astronauts on board Shenzhou 12 entered space. They opened the hatch and began their three months in a new home. Wow, On the very first day of 2023, while ushering in the new year with his people, Chinese President Xi Jinping highlighted the pearl in the orbit. He announced that China's space station was fully completed, 